Herzlich willkommen. Welcome, the new guy in Amsterdam. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. It's your first time with our orchestra. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. It's um, uh, it's a wonderful group of musicians, and what was very special is that it, it, you were so wel welcoming. So I came into the first rehearsal, and immediately it was a, a great atmosphere, and and everyone came to me and wanted to speak, and it was it was wonderful, wonderful atmosphere, and you you play fantastic. So I'm very very happy to be here. We are also very curious. Tell us a little bit about you. Except for one year where I was in St. Petersburg for, for studying, um, I did my, my all, all of my studies in Köln. Yeah, and then we moved to Essen. Um, my, my family and I, where I got my first full-time job, I was at the Alto Theater in Essen for nine years, a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we stayed in Essen. That's basically my home base, and from there, I come to Amsterdam. So, but you are a percussionist. Mm -hmm. I think that was your first instrument, probably? No, a piano was my first instrument. Okay. So I, I started with piano at the age of seven, and um, it was, the, the percussion came a bit later when uh, our, the, our piano teacher's son, he was a drummer. Mm. So at the age of 13 in Toronto, I saw him playing the drums, and of course I thought this was much cooler than, than playing the piano, and <laughs> it is, it is, exactly. So, uh, so uh, uh, next Christmas I was the, the happiest child because I found a drum set in the basement, and from then on it was basically drums, drums, drums. But then you left the drums, you started conducting. Well, I, I, was, I played in youth orchestras, um, and uh, as, a, as a percussionist you have a fantastic view of the conductor. Mm -hmm. So in the youth orchestra I played timpani and I was always watching the conductor and I was fascinated by, by what he or she does. And um, yeah, at some point I was 17, um, I decided that's what I want to do. I had never done it, I had no idea what it's about. Uh, so, so I went to the professor in Köln, introduced myself, said, uh, well, I'm Johannes, I want to be a conductor. Um, and he kind of tested me. I, of course, I had no idea what, what I was doing, right? So he asked me, um, what do you conduct at home? What do you, what do you fantasize about when, when conducting? So I said Zauberflöte. That's the piece I put on CD, mm -hmm. and I moved to it. I, I made move, right? So I, I conducted a bit of Zauberflöte, and everything was wrong, of course. I had no idea what I was doing. But he, he, he could sense there was, there was some kind of talent for movement and music, and uh, yeah, so from then on. Okay, yeah. wow. You did the whole real study with score playing in a piano. And Absolutely, that stuff. and then I uh, I started at an opera house. Um, I, I coached opera singers in Essen. That was my first job, and uh, after four years, I became what's called in Germany Kapellmeister. Mm -hmm. So um, I would I would conduct many ballets. I would conduct repertoire performances in opera. Uh, I got premieres as well in Essen to conduct uh, in opera, and that was a fantastic school because there's it's such a wide repertoire of uh, we played 20 operas a season wow. and maybe four yeah. or five ballets. So it was really um, and I played all this on the piano piano as well mm -hmm. and and then conducted it so it, this was the basically my 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 school yeah. yeah so so what is your favorite repertoire I cannot say you cannot say i'm in the very very fortunate um, position at the moment that um, this uh, ballet and opera is 50-50 mm -hmm. so i can I, I i can do both um i i do this year about I know I have five ballets and four operas, okay. so this is this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want to keep this situation as long as possible. I, I, I yeah. love both worlds um, so much, and I I, I don't want to decide. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Then. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you're in in, in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. We have are, uh, I think, a very unique orchestra because we only do ballet. Mm -hmm. uh, we do modern ballet also with, with The Hague, the Netherlands Dance Theater, which is a very different group. And of course, we do the classical ballet with the mm -hmm. National Opera Ballet. How is that to have a specialized orchestra? Well, the first thing I realized is um, you're, of course, very flexible, right? You, you react extremely quickly because you have to. Hmm. So if, if, if a dancer on, on stage jumps a bit 
quicker or higher or whatever, and the conductor needs to react, and so the orchestra needs to react as well. So that's the first thing I realized. It's very, uh, there's a very quick reaction time, which you don't necessarily have uh, with, with every orchestra. Um, so this flexibility to react to the conductor, and the difficult thing uh, f for, for ballet and the difference to opera is also, you as an orchestra, you don't hear dancers, right? An opera orchestra, can accompany the stage by just listening. Well, yeah. You That's have no chance true. of doing that. So yeah. the only way to communicate uh, between stage and an orchestra is through the conductor. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need this flexibility and this quick reaction time yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you like Amsterdam? I love Amsterdam. It's, it's a wonderful city. So I've been here um, a few times uh, privately in, in the last years, and I conducted the first time in the Musikgebouw. Yeah. Uh, um, we, we performed in uh, a modern opera there, and so I, I know Amsterdam a bit. It's, a, it's an amazing city, vibrant city, and I'm very happy to be here. Really nice to have you here. I'm very happy uh, to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much for the, your time this morning. Big fun. Thank you. For me as well. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.